So based on what we've learned from the simulation in the previous part, what are the key points we can take away from this? Well, firstly, we need to dispel the myth that we can always find the best parameters from an optimization. As you've seen from the results in the study, it simply isn't feasible to believe that this is the case. If you're going to properly understand the reality of what an optimization is, then you need to stop thinking that way. Which brings us to the second point. You need to think instead like a statistician. They talk in terms of probabilities of obtaining a certain level of statistical significance. To give you an example of the sort of sample sizes that I rely on in my optimizations, in the last system that I tested, it had an average sample size of about 18,000 trades per parameter set. Now, you might think this is a lot, but this gives me the confidence to trade the system live. Remember, if your edge is much better than the edge of my system in this example, then you'll need fewer trades in order to get the same level of confidence. If it's not as good, then you'll need more to get the same level of confidence. But if the number of trades that you're relying on is in the 50s or the low 100s, then there's a very good chance that you're not driving the best potential from your trading system. Now, I'll be talking about how I get sample sizes of this magnitude in a future episode. So be sure to subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, then click on the bell as shown here to be notified when new content arrives. Also, please like and share if you found this useful. And I'll have the next episode in the series out next week. Until then, trade safe.